guys, welcome back to my channel. Do you like this? Do you like what's happening up here? All right guys, hey, hi, how's it going, what's up? Today I am doing something that has been requested for a super long time. It is my updated makeup routine and I thought what a better way to do it right before I go back to work. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my work routine and just because, I don't know, it's different than my other one and you get the gist of what my makeup products are and I can always do like a going out updated one this summer because I really like doing these and I always find new products that I like but a lot of these are like my staples that I've been using for a long time and a couple new things so I'm excited to share with you. I just got done running, as you saw in the beginning of this clip, um, did a little workout in between 12 hour shifts. It's not exactly feasible for me to go to the gym or to go to Orange Theory in between 12 hour shifts just because it's a little, I don't, I just want to get something done really, really quick and easy. It's not easy to run, but I just want to get something done and get on my way. So that is what I did. I'm going to go take a shower and we will, there's kids outside. And I will get started on my makeup routine. As always, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this. And make sure you are subscribed so you never miss another video. Not a fit tip with whip. Not a fit tip with wit. Never miss another video. Alright, so I just showered. I have my scrub top on. So we're going to get started with makeup. I hate this scrub top. It's actually figs. I love the scrub top, but I hate that it's a medium. So I forgot that I freaking wa didn't wash any of my other scrub tops that I wore. I have a total of three for work. And yeah, so here we are. We're going to wear my least favorite one, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to put my hair up on top of my head. This is actually probably how I'll wear it to work, but just to work for the makeup routine, this is what we're going to do. So first things first, I want to talk about a few things, a few different products that I've been using that I've loved. And while we're sitting here. warm and cozy. So first thing I always do when I'm fresh out of the shower and I'm ready to do my makeup is I use my Smashbox primer water. My makeup routine is super basic you guys. I try and go fast because I like to use all of my extra time to sit and do nothing when I work 12s. So kind of quick but primer water. The next thing I'm going to do is use my makeup primer that I'm obsessed with. I've talked about this before. I have a brand new one somewhere but I try, I've tried to get the most out of this one. This is One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory. Soap and Glory, you can get this at Target. This is the primer that I use and I just love it. I really, really think it's worked well and I'm like at the bottom of my tube and it still works pretty decently for me. You can get a lot of product out of it, which is great for only $11, I think it is. So I just kind of rub this everywhere, priming everything. Oh, it's kind of like a little massage. Okay, and before I get into depth with what I use for face products, I want to talk about the new makeup brushes that I have been using. I have just been keeping mine, they're kind of dirty, I've just been keeping mine in a cute Radon mug because they're pink and super pretty, so that is, they fit in here well. And my other, my other brushes that I had before <laughs> that I've used forever are just in a cup. I like to keep my cups, I like to keep my brushes and like cute stuff like this so I can display it. These brushes that I have been using lately are from Vanity Planet. These are the Blend Party brush set. This is a set of 10 brushes. They're super, super compact. I've always wanted to try these, so when I got the opportunity, I was like, hell yeah, because you see them like at DJ Maxx and stuff, and you're like, oh, like I don't really know if these are going to be good or not, but these are absolutely awesome. I love them. So just so you can kind of see it up close, this is what the brushes look like. It's really, really compact and there's tons of bristles. When there's tons of bristles compact like that, it makes it easier to not waste product, which is why I was like super excited about it because I don't like wasting my foundation, one, because they're little, like they're not super huge. They don't come with a ton of product in them and I don't like wasting face products, especially expensive face products. If I have like, I've had like a NARS bronzer before, um, Expensive like MAC blushes, I have MAC blushes, so not wasting tons of product is great. And when it's this compact, you're really able to kind of direct where you go. So I'll show you guys that as I apply my makeup, but I think the dirtiest one is probably this one that I've been using for my bronzer, but you're just able to direct it more. So like I like to go up here with my bronzers and when it's compact like this, it doesn't get in between the bristles as much and you really, really don't waste much. You really, really don't waste much product. The brushes are super pretty and literally look at that. Like I'm just obsessed with how that looks. It's my favorite. 
how freaking compact these brushes are. I absolutely love that. They came in a really nice box. I've been keeping this to prop stuff up on, but they came in this nice box. That's just kind of an overview of what they look like. They're cruelty free, which is awesome. Really, really awesome price. I do have a discount code for you guys that you are able to use to get 70% off. I'm going to list it right up here. It is HR Blend. I'm going to show you guys how I use these, but yeah, this is my new fave makeup thing that's going down in my new beauty room. So let's Let's apply some makeup. All right, so we have the primer on. I'm gonna go for my foundation, the foundation that I have been using forever and ever 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 is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This foundation is literally like $4.99 and the reason I love it is because I self tan and stuff. So I'm able to like get multiple shades to match when I'm not tan versus when I am. For example, I am not very tan today, but you bet I'm gonna wear my darker foundation because I don't have a super light one right now. Like here's two shades. I have another one back here. I think I only have three right now, but normally like this is the darkest one. I normally have like five because it's just nice when they're that cheap and they work that well that you can like have several of them. So today we're gonna be doing the bronze beige one, but that is the foundation I use. I've been using it for almost two years and I love it. So shake it up here. Sorry, I'm using my mirror. I hope you guys aren't like totally distracted by that, but I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this. I worked 12 hours last night and I have to work 12 tonight. I have not really seen Samuel that much, so I'm really looking forward to the weekend because we work like total we work like totally opposite schedules right now, which is fine. That's a part of what we do, but I'm looking forward to the weekend. So You'll probably see this when the weekend's over, but I'm going to use my big body sponge by Real Techniques, Real Techniques sponge to actually put in the makeup. I have used brushes and I've used those brushes for this and it works well, but I really, really love the way that the sponge gives me like a like perfect, 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 like flawless application, if that makes sense. I love using makeup brushes to do my eyeshadow and everything else. Like obviously that's what you do, but like I have found that the sponge gives me a really, really good finish. I hope everybody is having a good start to post spring break. I know that it was spring break here in Iowa for like most everybody last week. And a lot of people were talking about how much fun they had. So I hope all of you had a fantastic spring break. Okay, I really try and get down into my neck and pull it back onto my ears without completely dirtying up my earrings. But I really try and get it down as far as I can because Lord knows you might be able to see something. Okay. I'm a blender. I literally blend forever because I'm like terrified that it's not blending enough. So my hair is down, whatever. Up next, I'm gonna take my Shape Tape Foundation from Tarte. This is my favorite concealer. I do have other concealers that are, actually, I might try out my new one, maybe. No, I'm not ballsy enough, I'll try it this weekend. I do have um, cheaper concealers. These two are from LA Girl, and I've been told these are awesome, but I haven't tried them yet. This is the Holy Grail, and I use this, I've used this for a couple years too, like right alongside. Uh, the wet and wild so I have the shape light medium and all I do with my concealer is just go right here under my eyes hide the bags if they're there my nose my forehead and a little bit on my chin and if I have any blemishes of any kind then I go for those too but then I just blend it out I flip my sponge over for under my eyes just because it makes the makeup go on a little bit more seamlessly and can get into the crevices a little bit better. And this is like the same thing I've done. I'm pretty sure my makeup routine from last summer was very similar to this. I have not really changed it up a whole lot. I, When you like something, you like something. The only thing I do switch around is makeup brushes, mascaras. Um, I'll get new concealers and try them. Obviously blushes and bronzers, but... For the most part, I have like my six staple products, my staple bronzer, my staple blush, my staple sponge, and now my new staple brushes that are for bronzer and blush and highlighting and eyeshadow. I did do some eyeshadow with my 
uh, bronze palette that I showed you guys in my haul video with my Vanity Planet brushes, so yeah. All right, guys, I am all blended out. So I'm going to show you what I use for what I'm going to do for powder. I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm going to show you how to do it with a brush, which is completely a way to do it. You can do it with a brush like this, which this one's awesome because it's so compact. It's going to put the product directly on my face and keep it there. Or you can also use your makeup sponge. So I'm going to do half my face with a sponge and half my face with a brush. Show you guys the difference. But this, the makeup setting spouter... The makeup setting powder I'm going I talk too fast. I'm gonna use is by Revolution, Makeup Revolution. It's the luxury baking powder in lace. I've used a decent amount of this if you can't already tell. Maybe you can't. So for the sponge side, all I do is take a little bit and just kind of dot it on there and go in the areas that I want to set, which is almost typically always um, under my eyes. Well, I'll just set this whole side of my face just to give you guys an example. But my main focus is always my eyelids because I do put my foundation on my eyelids with my concealer and then my forehead for sure because when I have stress lines at 3 a.m. later, I don't want my makeup crevicing, you know? All right. So that's it for the sponge and then for the brush all I'm going to do is take the Vanity Planet brush and put a little bit on it like that. It sits right on it as you can see and I'm just going to go in right under my eyes here and set it. And as you can see it's so like literally there's no product that's getting wasted here. Put a little bit more on top. I'm going to go up to my forehead. And you kind of can like rub it around, like not, don't rub it, but like with the product on it, just kind of like go and like push it a little bit harder into your skin. It's kind of like baking, but without the waiting 15 seconds, 15 minutes, whatever it is. Look, it's like, I love it. <laughs> I love the compactness of it. Okay. Okay, so now that my makeup is set, I am going to take my bronzer with my bronzer brush, which I have been using this one for bronzer. My favorite bronzer that I use is from Physicians Formula. It is the Butter Bronzer. I really, really love this one. This is just the regular bronzer, not the light one, so I'll just go in here with the brush. And my main focuses are always up on my forehead. I start there, and I go up into my hairline without making my hair look orange. Up here. This brush is so perfect for this because it just, it's spot treatment, you know? It's not like when you use, like my other brush, I don't even, when I use my other brush sometimes it, um, like the product gets so separated in between the bristles that you can't get everywhere. But this brush does not do that. It's like, hey, let me curve out your jawline. And then I'll do a little tiny bit around my nose, whatever's left over on top of it. Perfection. Up next, I'm just going to take my blush. This is my every, this is what I do every single day, you guys. So these are not anything funky, any funky colors or anything like that. But this is from Ulta. I'm definitely going to go buy this again. I loved it. This is just their velvet blush. And it looks like that. And this is in the color Honey Bunny. And it's one of my favorite colors. It's so pretty. I absolutely love it. It's like a light toned peach. So I'm going to take this brush for that. It's a little bit smaller just so that it can hit my cheekbones a little bit harder. Rub it around. Get some on there. I find my cheekbones. And pull it back towards my temple. Blush is the first thing that comes off is what I'm told. So I always kind of like am not shy with blush. I smile a lot. So I like there to be blush on my face. Don't obviously make yourself look like a clown, but it's my favorite. Samuel is texting me. But yeah. And then once I'm done, I kind of just blend it out a little bit more. I've done this my entire life. I'll get blush on and I'll be like, oh my god, it's too much. Even though I just said I wanted a lot, but you know what I mean. Okay, so we're done with blush. Next thing I'm going to do is take my Smashbox Casey Holmes Spotlight Palette in gold. 
I've had this since it came out. I love it. These are my favorite highlight shades. As you can see, they're so pretty. So I'm going to take this little one. This is perfect for highlighting directly on my cheekbones. Like I said, it's so compact that I can just get my colors and I'm psycho and take all three and go right along that cheekbone. You guys see that highlight? Oh, girl. Pretty. Like, see what I'm saying? It's literally just like, no messing around. Okay. That's all she wrote with face makeup. All right, guys, next thing I'm going for is brows. For brows, I use the Catrice Slimatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in medium. It looks like this. You can get it at Ulta. It's really, really difficult to find, if I'm being honest. So I don't do a whole lot to my brows. <laughs> I just kind of brush them out, pencil in just a little bit. I've always been told... I've always been told to use super light strokes when I'm filling in my brows, so that's kind of what I do. I just kind of naturally stroke in here at the front where it would need a little bit of something, but I don't like sit here and nail in brows because I don't care that much. I just like a little bit of filling in up there. So that's that side. I'm sure makeup artists are watching this right now and being like, holy shit. I think I'm bad. I just, it's not, I'm not a, like a professional or anything. I really enjoy doing makeup though. I love makeup products. If I could have loads of makeup products, I would. I have the space now for it, but I don't know if I can go back to that point in my life because I used to have so much makeup and like collect it and make videos, but then I like got in nursing school and you know. You know how that goes. Alright, so that's all we got going for face makeup. The, thing that, the next thing I'm going to do is spray my whole face because I don't like spraying when I have mascara on. I don't know why. I mean, I'll do it at the end, like a far away spritz, but I want my like face makeup set right now. So I'm just going to take my all-nighter spray. This is from Smashbox. No, this is from Urban Decay. My bad. Urban Decay's all-nighter spray, and I'm just going to spray that all over my face. Alright, guys. Last but not least, for my night makeup routine... For nights, I don't do eyeliner. I just don't. I don't feel like it's necessary. I'm just, I'm there to take care of people. I'm not like trying to impress anybody ever really, but besides myself, but I just don't like to wear it at night. So I'm just going to take my eyelash curler. This is a critical step in getting the best eyelashes possible. So I'm going to go ahead and just curl my eyelashes over here. I just hold it for a second. And that's about it. As you can see, that made like a pretty substantial difference on my eyelashes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my mascara. I just used the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. All right guys, so that is all she wrote for my makeup. This is a pretty decent glance at it. Like I said, I know my face does not match my neck. You don't need to comment that, I'm aware. I self tan and I just haven't since my spray tan self tan last week so i'm aware thank you but i will go ahead and link all of the products i use down below i'll list them in the description box for you guys so you guys know that and you guys can go buy them if you want to um again i'm super excited about this vanity planet brush set if you are interested in trying it again my discount code is down below i really really think it's a great thing for anybody who's looking for a new set of brushes and who wants to like actually get the most out of their makeup. I have just been like completely obsessed with them. They are awesome, super, 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 super awesome deal too, which I'm all about, girl. I'm not about buying the freaking expensive ass brush sets. I'm looking for a bargain, clearly, as you can tell, most of my makeup products are drugstore. So, wouldn't show you guys a product if I didn't love it. So I'm gonna get ready to go off to work now. I work one more 12 and then it's the weekend, like I said, super exciting. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I hope you are having a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Tell me why you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be without you.